Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's take the latest news coming in from the camp of Black Stars of Ghana's players and some latest news from around the world of sports as well. In this video, we talk about Kudus Mohamed to Chelsea. Um, a lot are happening. You know, I've already told you that Ayas, their sporting director, he has come out to confirm that Chelsea is in talks with Kudus as well as the agent and Manchester United. They want to hijack the deal. We'll talk about it in this video. Sky Sports, one expert, one transfer expert, he has come out to say that if Eric Ten Hag takes his phone and call Kudus right now, Kudus will go to Manchester United and they Chelsea. Well, we'll talk about the details and check out that interview or what he said in there as well. We will look at Tariq Lamte. The good news is that after four months, the player is now back to the pitch. And this is a good one. I watched him this done um, in the Newcastle versus Brighton game. And I will talk about him as well in this video. Transfer news from Benjamin, um, you know, um, who is a striker for the Black Stars of Ghana. Benjamin Tete, I almost forgot his name. Yes, he is also in the transfer news. We'll talk about him. Performances from Rans for your work on his Dofa, Stefan Ambrosius, and some other latest news you need to know or I have for you in this video. So you can see that it is really packed, but I'll make it very snappy for you on this channel anytime you join us please we do appreciate you so continue to like our video like the video for me then you subscribe if you are new on the youtube channel you subscribe for me then you put us on post notifications so that anytime you drop a video you'll be the first person to enjoy if you're on facebook too please like our video then you share if you're on facebook share and follow us follow us that's the most important thing follow us for more updates on facebook as well then you leave a comment now let's begin quickly from the camp of Tarek nilamte there's a good news for all Ghanaians because this player has been on injury for four months initially when he picked up the injury against west ham in march this year um they expected him to return about a month or two but it extended even to the end of the season and yesterday um let me say this morning this morning in ghana here yes we watched the game that was involving um you know brighton and also newcastle they started the game around 11 30 a.m till dawn and um you know the player did really really well he came on to play about 11 minutes and i think he's still sharp but recently they are playing Tarek Lamte as a left back in Brighton. I'll come and speak about him extensively on this channel because before he got that injury, he played against Arsenal. He played as a left back and he did very, very well for the team. Then yesterday too, when I was watching him, he was also playing as a left back. And I think, um, you know, Roberto De Zerbi, the coach for Brighton, has seen something in him and we will talk about him. His sharpness was there, his pace, everything was still intact. And this is a good news for all Ghanaians. So yes, he came on to do about 10 minutes and that is that now stefan ambrosius stefan ambrosius is one of the players who switched nationality last year to join the black stars of ghana's team ahead of the world cup in qatar the player couldn't go to the world cup though but he was later on uh, you know loaned from hamburger sv to karlsruhe in the german Bundesliga too he went there did quite well and he is now back with the team yesterday it was hamburger sv they played against shaka 04 they won by five goals to three and the Black Stars of Ghana's new defender played really well. He played 90 minutes for his club and he got a rating of 6.8, which wasn't bad at all. 90 minutes he played. He made four clearances in the game, one interception, three tackles. Um, he was dribbled past twice in the game. He had 63 touches. He gave 46 passes. That crazy was 93.9%, which is just 94% for him. He made one cross. Long balls he sent two. All the two were accurate. 100% for him. He went in for five ground balls. He won three. He went in for area was nine times. He won seven. Then possession loss were four for the Black Stars of Ghana's new defender. So, Stefan Ambrosius, those who have been asking updates on him, this is the update for you on this channel. We hope that he will stay with Hamburger SV and he will play well in the German Bundesliga too. They went for the playoff, but it didn't go on well for them. So, they will still play in the German Bundesliga too. Now, let's move on and talk about Ransford. Yeah, what one is Lofa? He also plays for Hamburger SV. Yes, he was also involved in the same game. And for him, he played 69 minutes. And he was really, really impressive. You know, yes, he did well. He had one shot, which was off target. He had two shot block in the game. He was dribble. Um, his dribble attempts were two. All the two were successful. So 100% dribble success for him. He had 29 touches in the game. Accurate passes. He gave nine. That crazy 69.2. 
and the player also sent three key passes in the game that tells you how creativity he is i don't understand he has not been getting you know playing minutes in the blast stars organized team and that is that you know going in for five ground was he won four error does he won one out of the one he lost eight times possession foul once and he was fouled once as well and clearances were two for runs for the work on his door for getting the rating of 7.2 for his side hamburger sv as they trash shaki 04 by some five goals to three now benjamin tete is also a striker for hall city in the english championship side and now the latest update is according to the club manager the player he has gotten an offer from um, you know a french team so the player will move on to that French team the team is not yet disclosed when it is out i'll bring it to you on this channel according to the whole city owner um his name is akun um likali he has confirmed that benjamin tete will leave after the club accepted a bid from a team in france earlier this week so that is it um you know per the report tete reportedly asked that he wanted to join that club for his personal reasons and that is the update for you on this channel now let's talk about you know kudus mohammed and some other news you need to know on this channel now kudus mohammed is a player who plays for ayas as you know already the player has not trained for four consecutive days today is the fifth day that ayas arrived in germany today ayas will play against osbeck and kudus will not be part of the team pair the report i know he didn't train for the past four days with them and that is that yesterday morning it was also reported from the person who is from the training ground that kudos did not train his um you know um sporting director has spoken that yes chelsea is in contact with them and everyone is talking about that now yesterday one expert from sky sports he is a transfer expert you know his name is myself van der Kran. he was speaking with sky sports and he said that eric ten Hag worked with kudos at ayas and if he takes the phone to call mohammed kudos Kudus will leave all the deal, all the Chelsea move and everything and just straight forward go and join Manchester United. That's what he has to say. Let's listen to this. After that, we will continue. Well, Mohamed Kudus is a really interesting player as far as midfield striker-wise. He can play both. And I think this is why he's on the horizon. He's on that list. He may not be the number one yet, but if any of the players we've just mentioned fail to, uh, to come or if the, the, the talks break down, Kudus could be an ideal option. Now, quite significantly in this matter is that Kudus, who is in training camp with Ajax in the south of Germany, near Munich, has made it clear to his club, I want to leave. Now, when does a player say he wants to leave? Usually when he's got something else lined up. And he, he's very keen on a move to the Premier League, whether that would be a top club in London or in Manchester. But I think as soon as Tanakh would knock on his door, he would go. All right, so that is it from Marcel van der Kram. He is an expert um, for Sky Sports. He said that if Eric Ten Hag, the coach for Manchester United, just picks a phone to call Kudus, you know, um, Kudus will leave the Chelsea deal and everything. Even agreeing personality with Chelsea, you will leave it and just straight for a go and join Manchester United because the player will love to play under Eric Ten Hag. Eric Ten Hag signed him to Ajax. Don't forget. And after he joined Ayas, he was not really getting a lot of playing minutes. But he started getting the minutes. Then he got an injury against, um, you know, in the game against Liverpool that time. And after his return, he was not getting a lot of playing minutes. But last season, he did very well. Scored 18 goals, provided 6 assists. And Kudus Mohamed was really, really fantastic for the Ayas team. So, guys, let me know your thoughts. And at the comments box, Kudus to Chelsea. It is still on. I've told you, Chelsea is leading the race to time Mohamed Kudus. No doubt about that. Arsenal wanted to hijack it. But it is still there. Many are reporting that, you know, Kudus will prefer joining Arsenal, um, you know, rather than joining Chelsea because of the UEFA Champions League football. And Brighton Overview is also looking forward to also challenge because they will get money from Moses Saicedo. Chelsea, right now, they prioritize signing Moses Saicedo from Brighton. After that, then they will focus on completing Kudus' move because they have already agreed personal terms with Kudus. The only thing left with Chelsea is to go and pay the money, but they will now want to grab, you know, um, that's Moses Saicedo from um, Brighton, and Brighton is really stretching Chelsea on that particular deal. So, we will talk more about the transfer news that you need to know on this channel. So, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments box or the latest updates from the camp of Black Stars Organist team, Sam making a return to the pitch, and these are some of the latest updates you need to know. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV. And of course, we shall meet later.